Hello Python programmers, so in this video, I am going to show you that how you can create an avatar like this using Python. Now I will make sure that one thing is very clear from the starting that this is not a graphic design video. No, we won't be creating this or any avatar from the scratch. What we'll be doing is we'll be using a Python library called PyAvatar to create this avatar. Okay. So first of all, let's see that what are the external libraries or things that we need to install. So you have to install an external library called PyAvatar. So simply write uh, pip install uh, PyAvatars. Make sure that there are three A, okay? PyAvatars, press enter. And this, uh, and this package will be installed for you. For me, this is already installed. So there is one thing more that you have to do. You have to install this GTX package. This just go to this website, this GitHub repository, slide down and click on this GTX3 runtime exe file and simply install this. Now your antivirus would stop you from installing this, but trust me, this is a recommended uh, file. So install this. Now with all the requirement install, let's go to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll import the pi avatar library. So we have imported the pi avatar from pi avatars library. Make sure that this P and this A is captured. So let's create the default avatar first. So we'll create an avatar variable and then we'll write this pi avatar class name. Okay. No parameters provided here. Now there are a lot of parameters that you can define inside this. I'll show you in just a bit, but let's first see that what is the default avatar provided by this library. Okay. And what we'll simply do is we'll do avatar dot render, uh, render PNG, uh, file, uh, it's not caps, uh, file, and then we'll simply write the output file name. So let's say, uh, two dot PNG. Okay. Let's save this and let me run our program okay so we are having an error there is no module as pi avatars okay uh, actually there are three a let's save this and let me run my okay so just a second let me save this and let me run our program uh, okay again there should be another a here either typo uh, mistakes Okay, so now let's go to our folder and here we can see that this two uh, PNG file is is there and we have our avatar. So this was the default method to create the avatar. Now let me show you that how you can provide the parameters like how you want the skin color, whether you want to have the smiling face or sad face or any of the faces like that what type of t-shirt and we can specify all of that so let me show you how we can do that okay so this will remain the same uh, let's import this as okay so this should be import so we'll import the pi avatar as let's say uh, pd Panda is not here, so let's use this uh, abbreviative here. And then we'll simply write uh, avatar is equal to pd dot pi avatar. And then we'll write a bunch of parameters here. Now I'm copying and pasting the parameters so that I don't waste time in writing and uh, focus more on explaining. So I'm just copy pasting here. Okay, so there are many parameters here. So what I'll do is I'll also open the GitHub repository of this uh, by avatar uh, library. So let me open the GitHub just a second. Okay, so this is the GitHub repository of the PyGitHub. Uh, 
sorry pi avatar library now let me minimize this okay so the first parameter is the style now the style is uh, the background we have specified circle you can also specify square here okay uh, then we have specified the skin color right so skin color is light here you can specify dark or uh, let's see that what are the parameters that you can define i'll provide the link for this github repository uh, below so you can just visit and what you can do is if, if you want to check that what are the options present uh, then you can just click on this pi avatars folder go to templates and here you can see we have a lot of options here okay so uh, let's say that we want to change uh, uh, the uh, okay so let's change the face so inside this face folder uh, let me expand this okay so let's say that we want to change the eyes okay so uh, let let me show you that what I am talking about. Here you can see that uh, in this image we are having this hard eye and in this one we are having the simple eye. So how can we change the eye shape or eye whatever it is. So how we can do that. Let's see. So uh, what you can do is let me go back to the GitHub repository. Uh, okay. Uh, not this one actually. Uh, this one. So here we can see that inside this uh, eyes folder we have lot of images like the wink, uh, the wink wacky, the side, the hearts. Let's try the wink wacky one. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll see where is the eye. Okay. So here is eye. So we'll change it to what is the name? It is uh, wink wacky. Okay, so we'll write this in all caps. Where is I? So it was uh, wink and wacky. Okay, so let's save this and let's run our program. Okay, so we are having an error. Uh, P A. Where is P A? Okay, so it should be P D. Uh, okay, so let's change the variable name itself. So we'll change this to P A. okay so now i guess there shouldn't be any problem here uh no i don't wanna buy let's save this and let's go to our folder and here you can see we have the wacky wink of i which is pretty bad looking wink okay uh okay so now you can just go to this uh, github repository and explore all the facial features now i'm not gonna extend the length of the video by explaining you the simple things like how you can change this and that you can just go to this repository and experiment with all uh, the changes like you can change the clothes you can change the graphics like you can add pizza that's strange you can add the skull you can do hola whatever it is you can just try it on your own because i can extend the length of the video as much as i can but but the essence of programming is in trying on your own okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye